Today we're going to be uh, repacking bearings on this hub that came off of a, uh, a trailer. Uh, so, um, as you can see, this is a uh, an 8-247 size, and it's got the uh, the five uh, studs on there. Um, so, uh, I did a little work on this already, and I just wanted to get, kind of give an overview of um, you know what I did here. Um, so the first thing that I actually did was, um, came to the backside here and this, uh, seal was all kind of boogered up. Um, so I got one of these, uh, um, seal polar tools from, uh, Harbor Freight. And basically you can kind of put it in there underneath the, um, the seal and you can pry on it. And basically I was hitting the, uh, the handle with the hammer and, and kind of pop that seal out you know once you get that out you can pull out the bearings that are that are in there um, and uh, as it turns out once the bearings come out then you're left with the uh, the races that are inside and here on the smaller side you can see I put the race back in there um, what I did is I took a screwdriver and put it down in the hole on an angle and hit the bottom part of the race and then just basically came in with sledgehammer and tapped it the race out so you go around 360 degrees around the edge of the race it'll eventually pop out so I did that both to the bottom bearing and then this upper bearing I had to flip over the hub to get to the uh, bottom side of this this race to pop that out but a uh, little bit of pounding, and those came out. Uh, putting the uh, the new races in, what I did is I got the old race, and then um, as an example, I took the old race, put it on top of the new one, and then tapped it in deeper into the uh, the cylinder. And then after a certain point, um, this uh, older race um, starts hitting the top of the hub so it didn't uh, go in any deeper and then um, you know I, I think I got I don't know if I got the socket here and it's basically the diameter small enough to to fit on on the um, the older race size and so I was able to pound that down um, to get it seated nicely and then on the other side with the, uh, the larger race, uh, the socket fits perfectly um, on top of the, the race. So I was able to put the, uh, the bigger race on the bottom side and tap it in and get it into place. This is the, um, the socket that I was using, 1 and 11 sixteenths size. So that seemed to do the job on uh, both races. And then um, I went and got this bearing packer tool you necessarily don't need it but I got it and but you put the uh, grease inside of that uh, clear chamber and you screw down the uh, this white uh, press and it presses out the old grease and inserts the new grease into the, the bearing in my case it was all just new grease um, and then here's the uh, the part number for the bearings that I'm putting in on this unit and uh, this is the grease that I got over at uh, I think it was at AutoZone so lastly I'm going to be uh, packing the last uh, smaller bearing and then um, I'll put it inside of here to finish the job and then um, I think there's uh, a nut back uh, where the trailer is that I got to put back together and there's a keeper keeper washer and um, cotter pin that will go through the bolt that holds the, the nut on here and uh, that uh, is uh, the job of uh, changing out the bearings um, this is the first time I did that on the trailer and I would say if you have all the tools and stuff you're probably going to be looking at uh, 40 minutes overall it was a uh, easy job if you have the appropriate equipment at your fingertips.